In this lesson, we're going to now start looking at multiplying uh, two numbers where both of the numbers involve more than one digit. So let's uh, start by looking at 39 times 50. And again, let's uh, think about money here. Um, oftentimes that'll, that kind of helps us understand the process behind a particular operation. So we have 39 times 50. Now, suppose just for a second that instead of 39 times 50, all I was being asked to do is multiply 39 times 5. Well, that's what we learned how to do in the last video. We understand how to multiply 39 times 5. And so the way I want you to think about this is we have 39 $5 bills. And we want to know how much money we have. So, based on our work in the last uh, video lecture, we would just multiply 5 and 9, which gives us 45. We would carry the 4, and then 5 times 3 is 15, plus 4 is 19. So, I'd have 195. But, that's of course not the problem we were given. We were given 39 times 50. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're saying, okay, well, if I had $195 when I had 39 $5 bills, what if those $5 bills were 50s instead? So if they were 50s, then I would exa have exactly 10 times the amount of money that I had when they were 5s, right? Because 50 is f uh, 10 times 5. So what that means is the only difference between 39 times 5 and 39 times 50 is that we'll have a zero at the end. So instead of 195, we have 1,950. And where this is coming from is that this 5 actually wasn't in the 1's place, it was in the 10's place. And there was a zero in the 1's place. So now let's take a look at this example. We have 52 times 39, or 39 times 52. So what I want to do here is show you up top here that in general, what we're going to do <coughs> excuse me, is to uh, just multiply vertically using a shorthand. But down below here, what I want to do is show kind of the long way of doing things um, to help us understand the shorthand way. So if we consider 39 times 52, can we agree that that's the same as if I had 39 times 50 and then added that to 39 times 2? Because having 39, uh, 52 39s, it would be the same as having 50 39s plus two more 39s. Okay? So right here, we already know the answer to this from our work in the previous example. This is 1,950. And right here, 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And then we want to add the two together. So we're going to take 78 plus 1,950. So 8 plus 0 is 8. 7 plus 5 is 12. 1 plus 9 is 10. So we have 2,028 as our answer. Okay. So all I've done is I've basically split this into 50 and 2 and then added them together. Now the shorthand way of doing this problem is using the exact same principle but just without writing quite as much down. So what we're going to do is start by multiplying the ones place of the bottom number by all the digits in the top number. So 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So there's my 78 that I also had down here. Now what I'm going to do is ignore the 2, and I'm going to jump over to the 10's place 
of the bottom number. Now because I know I'm in the tens place, just like I did over here when I was uh, multiplying 39 times 50, I'm going to automatically put a zero at the end of whatever I get by multiplying 5 and 39. And when I multiply 5 and 39, I know I get 5 times 9 is 45, so that's a 5 there. Let me scratch this out so I know I'm done with it. Carry the 4, and then 5 times 3 is 15, plus 4 is 19. And then just like we did down here in this long way of going about the problem, I'm going to add up the two rows. So I have 8, 7 plus 5 is 12, 1 plus 9 is 10, and then 2. So 2,028, either way you do it. Now let's go over to 58 times 47, and let's do this problem using only the shorthand approach. So it doesn't matter what you put up on top or bottom. If the two numbers have the same amount of digits, remember though, if one of them has more digits, put the one with more digits on top. So 7 times 8 is 56. So I'm multiplying the ones place at the bottom with all the digits on top. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 5 is 40. Now because I'm moving to the tens place in the bottom number now, I'm going to put a zero at the end right away so I don't forget about it. So I'll put a zero here before even starting my multiplication. Now I'm going to take 4 times 8 is 32, so put the 2 here, put the 3 up above, and I'm going to scratch this 5 out. So I know that the 3 is the number I'm carrying now. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 3 is 23. Now that I've finished with the digits on the bottom number, I can add these up. So my answer is 2,726.